Alright, for this trick, I'm going to take a shuffle pack of cards, and then I'm going to make, I'm going to take this card here, and I'm going to hand it to my assistant. This card holds a prediction of which card I think that they will select. It's not fixed. Alright, okay, now I'm going to ask my assistant to cut the pack in half, just generally, free choice. Okay, put that there. Okay, this one. I'm going to take the bottom half of the pack and I'm going to put it there. Then I'm going to start to deal out the cards. One on top of there, one face up there, one on top of there, face up. And you carry on like that until all the cards are either face up or face down. Okay, I'm going to gather these remaining cards in, turn them over, start dealing again. Gather the remaining cards again, start dealing. Gather them in again. Okay. I've ended up with one card left. Right, remember the um, pack was cut in half, free choice, it's the king of clubs. Alright, now my predicted card is also the king of clubs. How did I know that? Magic. And this is how you do the trick. When, when you take your pack of cards, you have to look at the 16th card down. In my case it was the king of clubs. So, and then when you ask your volunteer to cut the pack, it has to be more than 16, but less than 32. You, it'll be quite easy to see that on the pack of cards, and if not, you can just ask them to put it back and do it again. You don't want it to be, to be too easy. And then 16, the 16th card is the one you want. It's the one you know is going to go there. So when you start dealing them out, you get rid of every second card. And then, when you deal them out for a second time, you get rid of every second card as well. Then when you deal them out for the next time, get rid of every second card. Then for the last time. And you're just left with the 16th card. And you can make your prediction just based on that.